Hello, YouTube fans, and a special shout out to my class, classes at Lee High School. Today, we are talking about classifying angles, segment addition, and angle addition. Let's begin with our warm-up for today. The directions say, use your knowledge of pairs of angles to name each pair and find the value of the missing angle x. The first thing we need to identify is what is the angle pair? But there's actually a couple of right answers. Is it a complementary angle? Well, no it's not because these angles will not add to be 90. Are these supplementary angles? Well, yes, let's put a check mark there. These angles will add up to 180 degrees. Are they a linear pair? Well, yes, both angles lie on a line. Are these adjacent angles? Well, yes, they're right next to each other. And are these vertical angles? No. So they are not complementary, and they are not vertical angles. Let's continue. So we need to find this value of x. Now the question we need to ask ourselves is what value of x plus 100 gives us 180? In equation form, we can represent this as x plus 100 equals 180. Well, to solve that equation, I'm going to draw a vertical line where the equal sign is, and I'm going to subtract 100 from each side of the equation. So we know that x must equal to 80 degrees. Let's take a look at the second one. It says, if the measure, and that's what M means here, if the measure of angle ABC, well, here's A, here's B, and here's C, well, we must be talking about this angle right here. If the measure of ABC is 105 degrees, then find the measure of these several angles. Well, we know we have vertical angles going on right here. We have 105 degrees. And the same kind of situation here. These two angles that lie along a line, so I'm going to draw a line here. We know these two angles here must add up to equal to 180 degrees. So let's call this missing angle x. So what is x? Well, we know that x plus 105 must equal to 180 degrees. Now, to solve that equation, we're going to subtract 105 from both sides of the equation. And we know that x, 105 minus 105 is 0, cross it out, equals 75 degrees. All right, so x is 75 then this angle must be 75 because they're vertical angles, which are always congruent. So filling in the blanks, angle CBD is 75 degrees. Angle DBE is going to be 105 degrees. And angle ABE is going to be also 75 degrees. Let's continue and look at it. a couple of other things. So let's look at a couple of these problems. The first step in understanding mathematics and what is expected in a question is to read the directions. Let's read it. It says, draw segment AC with point B between point A and C. Label each segment given x equals 2. Which segment is longer? So we need to look at that first word. Let's draw. We're going to draw three different points. We're going to draw a line segment. And then we're going to draw a three points on that segment. We're going to draw one point A. We're going to draw one point C. And we know that the problem statement, it states that problem, that B is between A and C. So I'm going to put B right in between points A and C. Now, if x equals 2, what will help me is if I put a little bitty 2 wherever I see an x, and I see a little x here, so I'm going to put a 2. Now, let's do the math. Well, looking at AB, 2 times 2 equals 4, and 4 plus 6 is 10, so I'm going to put AB is 10. Now, BC, I have a little more room to work with here. 3 times 2 is 6, 
and 6 plus 9 is 15. So I'm going to put 15 under segment BC. So which one's longer? Well, BC is, so I'm going to circle it. Let's turn over to the back of the, of the worksheet and look at number 4 together. Number 4, it says DM bisects angle HDJ, solve for X. Well, we know that the word bisects mean, means that it divides an angle into two equal parts. So if we know that HDM, this little angle right here, is 23 degrees. Let's draw an arrow pointing. Now, MDJ is 5X plus 3. We're just going to label our picture. 5X plus 3. That's got to be this angle here. So, we also know that this little dash mark, notice there's a little dash right here and right here. Those symbols also teach us that wherever we see a little dash mark, those angles are congruent. Now think about another math word that means the same or congruent. Well, that is the equal symbol. So I can say that 5x plus 3 is equal to 23 degrees. To solve this equation, I need to subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. The result will be, I bring down my 5x, 3 minus 3 is 0, cross that out, and 23 minus 3 is 20. There's one final step to solve this equation. We need to divide 20 by 5. So x equals 4 because 20 divided by 5 is 4. And that's our x value. Now your assignment is to complete both sides of this worksheet. One other thing that we did today was we went over quiz number 1, over the vocabulary and notation of geometry. Whenever you get back in class, I would encourage you to come see me, and we will be sh I will be sure to get you a key to the last quiz. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful.